WordPress and Profoto work together, and they give you all kinds of flexibility for designing your website. What's visible on your pages, it can come from both sources. So here's an overview of how they work together. WordPress is the foundation of your website. It's your content management system. It provides two types of content containers, posts, which are archived into a blog, and pages. It's WordPress that determines the URL of every one of these pages. And no matter what theme is active, you'll likely be working with both the post and the page editor in the WordPress dashboard. If you ever switch themes, all this content in WordPress remains. Themes and plugins can add more functionality to your site. In both cases, they add their options via the WordPress structure. All their settings are saved to the same WordPress database as all the other WordPress settings are. And when a plugin or a theme adds something like a custom post type, it's done as a part of WordPress. Profoto is a theme. It's amazing and it's super powerful, but it can't exist on its own. It runs in the WordPress ecosphere. With Profoto, you build layouts and apply them to any type of page created inside of WordPress. Every page on a Profoto site gets a layout assigned to it. And a layout is an arrangement of Profoto modules inside of a block structure. These layouts are edited using the Visual Builder. Our Visual Builder is a special view of your site that includes the Profoto interface. It allows you to view the result of your changes to the layout in real time. Remember, however, that changes made in the Visual Builder only apply to the active layout. This is the one you're viewing. You aren't making changes to the page itself. A special module in the layout serves as a kind of portal through which any content coming from the active WordPress page is going to display. Whatever is present in the post editor shows up wherever the WordPress content module is placed in the layout. And the style of this content comes from the module settings accessed by clicking this edit icon. A page whose layout does not contain this module, it will still display at its URL, but you will only see layout modules there. No content coming from WordPress will display. If it's a post page, you wouldn't see the post. If it was a WooCommerce product page without the WordPress content module, you would not see anything from WooCommerce. And if it's a gallery page, again, there would not be a gallery. If a layout is assigned to more than one page, which is really common, the WordPress module must be present in the layout. Discover and manage layout assignments in Layouts in the Visual Builder. Here, you can easily see which layout you're applying to multiple pages. The default layout is pretty explanatory. It's the layout applied to any page that doesn't already have some other specific assignment. Let's test this by creating a new page in WordPress. I'll give it a title and add some text and an image. Now I'll publish it and then view it in the Visual Builder. See? The default layout is automatically assigned. Other layouts might be applied to all single posts or maybe all your gallery pages or all your WordPress static pages, or even all posts in a certain category. By paying attention to the name of the layout you're editing in the Visual Builder, and where that layout is assigned, you can avoid being surprised by the results of your edits. And you can be sure not to remove the WordPress content module. <laughs> Many designs include layouts that are assigned to one specific page. That's totally fine. Now this is the only scenario where you could safely remove the WordPress content module. If you go this route, 
Everything you see on the page is going to be coming from the layout. The WordPress page, or post, becomes a placeholder for the layout content. Normally, the best way to remove the WordPress content module is to delete the block that contains it from the layout. If you delete just the module from a block that is shared in other layouts, then you'll be removing the content module from those layouts too. Of course, just because a layout is connected to a single page doesn't mean that you have to remove the WordPress content module. You can combine the content from the WordPress page editor and whatever is coming from the Profoto layout and you can get some really unique page looks. So, WordPress and Profoto work together. WordPress provides the URL and possibly content for a post, a page, a custom post type, or a list of posts. Then, Profoto comes along and applies a layout to whatever WordPress is bringing to the table. Every page you see has a layout assigned. And the Profoto layout you're editing is either going to be connected to just a single page or, more often than not, a group of pages. If it's assigned, and this is really important, to a group of pages, make sure that the WordPress content module is present in one of the blocks.